Happy New Year, everybody. It is your girl, Manny, and welcome back to Inspire Today. So today, I have another food video for you guys, and it is something very dear to me. So for those of you that do not know, January 1st is also Haitian Independence Day, and we have this tradition of drinking soup jumu, which is a pumpkin squash soup that we drink as a remembrance of our independence. So on January 1st, 1804, the island of Haiti gained its independence from the French to become the first free black nation in the North Americas. The history or legend behind the soup is that it was a delicacy reserved only for the French slave masters and the slaves were not able to indulge in it. So once we gained our independence, what was once forbidden had a new meaning and became an Independence Day soup. So if you guys like to see my version, which I'm making a vegan, vegetarian friendly version, continue to watch and comment down below your some of your traditions. I will definitely like to know. Don't forget to share it, like, and let's get right into this video. So to start off, we're going to need some celery, some carrots, parsnip, radish, a turnip, some bell peppers, and we're going to need either, you can use either or, I'm using both a butternut squash and a calabaza squash, which is a West Indian pumpkin. Either one you could use if you can't find the other. I'm going to use a habanero pepper with some cloves, a leek, some thyme, some garlic, cabbage, onion, parsley, a piece, which is just a Haitian homemade seasoning, some spaghetti, spinach. Pasta is normally made with rigatoni, but I'm just using penne, whatever pasta that you have on hand. A vegan bouillon cube. So you're gonna chop up all your veggies, like you see I'm doing with the celery right now. So all my veggies are chopped up. We're ready to go. I just heated up some olive oil in a pot, probably like two tablespoons I did. And I'm just going to pour my veggies in there. You can make it with meat. If you guys would like to see a meat version or a poultry version, do let me know and I'll make it. But you're pretty much just going to I'm sauteing them building up a little flavor because there isn't any of the bone marrow to put in that flavor so and I'm putting in all my other vegetables besides my greens and I'm putting a little bit of water in there just because the vegetables are going to make their own water just to sweat my squashes to make them nice and soft and on my other burner I do have some hot water boiling so I'm able to blend my squash with that and as you can see I poked my cloves into my pepper because you do not want to bite into one of those it just turns off the whole food if you do trust me you don't want to so now that all my veggies are steaming and my squash are nice and good I'm just going to take them out of the pot and go ahead and blend them Safety 101, you do not want to do this with piping hot water. Don't be like me, because you can burn yourself. Do it with room temperature, make sure everything you're putting is room temperature. Just a heads up. So once we're done blending all of that, I'm just gonna pour it back into the pot. And you do wanna go ahead and taste this. You wanna taste it if it needs more salt. If you need to add some pepper in it, this is where you want to do that just to build that flavor and get the flavor how you want it. As you're doing it, continuously taste it just to see what it tastes like. Okay, so my greens have been boiling for a little bit so now I'm gonna add my pasta. You don't want to add too much because you don't want it to be all thick without any of the broth from it and it's just a big mess. 
So a little bit goes a long way. A little bit of pasta in there, just to give you a little bit of that carb. And this is pretty much it. You let all of that boil once you put the pasta in till the pasta is like al dente, however you want it to be. And we are done with it. If you guys like this video, don't forget to thumbs up and let me guys know what you guys do, what are your traditions. I would be glad to know. And I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful new year.